look at a bit of converting between place values. You might not understand what that means, but let's look at this. This is a very common kind of question that you'll see in tests. 400 equals how many tens? So 400, let's do my hat, shall we? Units, tens, hundreds. 400, so there's 400s, four in the hundreds column. 400 is how many tens? So, do a little arrow here. If we look at the tens column, how many tens have we got? Well, we'd say 40 tens. So, 40 tens is actually the same as four. The answer to this would be 40. 400 is 40 tens. Wonder how many units it would be? It would actually be 400 units. So, just to recap, there's actually three different ways of saying this number with our place value we could say 400s which is actually 40 tens or 400 units you don't hear that very often do you Mr Blanc? No. You normally just hear 400 because that's what the that number says 400 but it's also 40 tens and it's 400 units. Let's look at this next question so 3 tens is how many units 3 tens is how many units so I'm going to need units and tens to do 3 tens placeholder zero here so three tens that's 30 isn't it three tens three times ten is 30 how many units is that well three tens it's 30 units if we look on the tens column I'll do arrow coming up from below three tens or if we say units we have to say 30 units so three tens is 30 units don't worry about drawing the arrows or drawing the lines in a certain way that's not a maths method you need to follow that's just what I do Okay, the next question, this is a good one. Um, 2300, how many units is 2300? So you don't normally hear 2300 because we don't normally get more than one digit describing hundreds, you know, something like 300. We're definitely going to need our hats. If you're stuck on a question like this, don't just sit there and do nothing. At least do your hats. I don't know why I've done thousands, maybe I won't need it. Let's just practice writing our hats out. Units, tens, hundreds and then units, tens, hundreds of thousands. So a comma would go here. Anyway, so 2300s, how on earth am I going to write 2300s? Because it's not, you can't squeeze a two and three into the same another section. Common, another common misconception is that you would put the two in the hundreds and the three in the tens. Well, that's only two hundreds. Let's try that, Mr. Blom, hmm. see what it would look like if we did that. You said put the two in the hundreds, yeah, because it's twenty three hundred. So yeah, yeah okay. Let's put the yeah. I oh, know. But when you look at it, how many hundreds are there? There's only two, and there's only three tenths of a hundred uh, that that is available in in terms of what was twenty three hundreds. We have to then go back and then yeah. think really think about what twenty three hundred lo would look like on the hats and caps. And I think this is the hardest bit because what it says here, what this says here. If it says 23 anything, this, it says 23 tens, because mm. it ends in a tens column. Yeah, exactly. So we don't want 23 tens, we want 23 hundreds. That may have given you a clue as to how we're going to do what we're going to do next. So Mr. Saul, let's start then, let's be, let's be sensible and start from the lowest place value. You say 23 hundreds. Let's just put 3 hundreds in. Let's just put 3 hundreds in to start. Now, will we be correct in saying in 23 hundreds, those, that 3 hundreds is in the right place? Right place. Yeah, three hundred. Right. So then, surely the twenty would be in the place value, following the hundreds. Should we try it? Well, I'll see what it says. Two thousand three hundreds. It says twenty three hundreds. Yeah. Two in the thousands column. Three in the hundreds. Twenty three hundreds. So even though that two is in the thousands, it's representative of twenty hundreds. Maybe do it yourself. Count on your fingers. Do twenty hundreds and see if it will work. So we need some placeholders on the end because we always need to fill in the columns all the way up to the units column. So we've got 2,300. So turns out that 2,300 is actually 2,300. I think there's four ways of saying this number. So the way you would, you're supposed to hear, the way you will always hear is 2,300. But we could also say 2,300s. We could that if we focused on the um, hundreds column. So we could say 2300s, this is our number, 2300, we could say 2300, 
just like that. If we say the whole thing all together, we say 2,300. What if it was tens? 230 tens, which we finished in the tens column. What if we say hundreds? Well, as we know, 2,300s, that's what we started with. Turns out, I think there's three ways of saying this. Let's check. 2,300s, 230 tens, or 2,300 units, which answers our question, 2,300 units. 2,300 units. Okay, one more example. We've got 9,000s. How many tens is that? How many tens is 9,000? Right, so let's do some hats. Units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Oh, that's going to be enough, isn't it? Because it says nine thousands. So I need to write nine thousand. So I've started off with writing the number that I've been given. Nine thousands. Just check that it's nine thousand. Yeah, nine thousands is nine thousand, of course. What is that if we if we just say how many tens that is? It's nine thousands. Well let's go up to the tens. It's nine hundred tens. That's how many tens it is. Nine hundred tens. There's a few ways of saying this number. Let's go through them all. So we could say 9,000. We could say 90 hundreds. If we stop at the hundreds column, it's 90 hundreds. If we stop at the tens column, it's 900 tens. If we go all the way, it's 9,000 units. So what we wanted was 900 tens for our answer. Our answer is 900 tens. So 9,000. 9,000s, you hear that a lot. Make sure my zero looks like a zero. Be careful of that when you do your tests. Don't know what that looks like now. At least it doesn't look like a six. Make sure your zeros look like a zero. So 9,000s you hear all the time. You don't often hear 910s, but it turns out that 9,000s is the same as is equal to 910s.